this is the day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. God bless. Love you. Hey everybody, I'm glad you're back. I hope you enjoyed the video uh, part A. And like I said, we already did part E first because of the different focus toward the end. Uh, this one is, is part B. And we want you to just remember, God loves you. Uh, and He wants all of us to, to bear the fruits of the Spirit as we move out in ministry. Uh, continue to pray for this pestilence and, and one of the scriptures that I think is kind of is appropriate for this time uh, dealing with this COVID-19 and we're going to go after that through prayer because the church is rising and shining and we're going to pray. We're not going to do anything foolish. We're going to do, we're going to be in prayer and faith that God's going to deliver us from this pestilence. Second Chronicle, Chronicle chapter 7 verse 12 and the Lord appeared to Solomon by night and said unto him, I have heard thy prayer and have chosen this place to myself for a house of sacrifice. If I shut up heaven, that there be no rain, or if I command the locusts to devour the land, or if I send pestilence among my people. Verse 14. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and heal their land. All we have to do is make sure, remember, we, we seek his face. We humble ourselves before the mighty hand of God and we come to him. In, in, in corporately, uh, we come, and I remember I tell you corporately now because of the, the, the push to, to stay at home, is even though we're not physically together, we are spiritually together. And just pray, pray for deliverance for this pestilence to be moved out of the way and be cast into the sea. And just remember, all we do, we do it in love. And that's what God wants us to remember. We do everything in love. You know, I even was looking at the, uh, talking to you before I go to the video, is remember that the, uh, one of the scriptures that I think is very appropriate for us is in Galatians chapter uh, 5. And uh, it's, it's, it's talking about the verse, uh, starting in verse 22. It says, But the fruits of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. And the one thing about the like, fruits of the Spirit is, is talking about the first piece is love itself. Love one another. That's what he said. God demonstrated his love by giving his only begotten Son. We demonstrate love by giving ourselves, not to do like the valid people, but I'm talking about our, our selfishness and our, our, our way that we want things done and say we want his will to be done. Christ demonstrated that. That's what we're going to demonstrate too. So I want you to enjoy this video and remember, just remember to pray. While you in the, in the homes, pray. Pray for deliverance. Pray for those that are sick. Pray for comfort of those who lost loved ones. And remember, Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. All right. I hope you enjoy the video and uh, let's keep continuing to lift everybody up in prayer. Amen. In Jesus name. Bye -bye. I, yeah, I agree with you. When we were in service, there's a lot of parallels between the carnal and the, and the spiritual realm. We taught each other to obey those powers that were above us. Uh huh. And we constantly reinforced that teaching when we saluted. Okay. Every time you get in contact with someone that you knew had authority over them, it was your job to salute them. Yeah? Now, in Christianity, we're also teaching people to do that. And I think when we talk about religion, uh, those principles, those practices that supposedly bring people into closer um, uh, relationship with God, the target has been missed. We have been teaching us each other to follow each other. Yeah. But we, we have been teaching each other to connect spiritually with God and to follow Him. Yes, and sir. We could, been, we, could con we could collectively begin to move in accordance with the spirit that's speaking to all of us. And I still take it back to the, the pad when we were marching on the pad. 
You want but one guy calling cadence. But he moved all of us in the same direction. Come on. <laughs> one voice. One voice. One voice. And everybody listened to that voice. You knew if you were on the wrong foot. Because when he said, hey, you should have been dropping the left. If you're on the right foot, man, you know you got a problem. So now you got to do a change step. You might look in constant with the rest of the guys, and some of them might be off step too. So who do you want to get in alignment with? You get in alignment with the one that's calling the cadence. Mm. And when we all align ourselves with the cadence, then we were all walking in concert with one another. Exactly. This is how I believe the Spirit of God moves. He moves on us individually, but affects us collectively. And when he does that, we are all moving in the same direction. If we learn to listen to him, if we disciple people to Jesus and teach them to exercise their relationship with him, then it all works out really well. Right. I think, and that's how Jesus was saying is, that was it, because it's this, we try to, I think sometimes the, the ministry has tried to substitute, not intentionally, but try to substitute the, the steps of a righteous man. Opposed to saying that the steps of the righteous man is ordered by the Lord. Lord. Not, not, preaching. Not, not by people, but by the Lord. Not, not, it's, not, it's not ordered by me. Yeah. <laughs> if you follow mine, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. Come on. You did that. You didn't work for me. <laughs> it's like I had to get to a better source. So I could do it, turn people to Christ. It's like, man, I don't know what I'm doing. You better get with the Lord, and He would direct you. <laughs> That's what same one that directed me. Right. And when I listen, I get it right. Woo! I think that was the problem. What you, brother, Lass, you had something to say about that? Because I, I, I mentioned you first talking about the dogmatic piece and 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 and, and the conviction you had when you first started before. Is the audio on? Yeah, you to put your audio on. <laughs> Is it on now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, First Corinthians chapter thirteen pretty much talks about how I was during that time, you know, and and uh, uh, it says, uh, though I speak with tongues of men and of angels, and I have not charity. Uh, becomes a sounding brass or as a tinkling cymbal. So what I was doing was not in love for that person or those people that I was talking to. I, I wasn't talking and there was no love in that. It was just the word. Right. So just saying a word to somebody and you don't have love in your heart for that person and that person's soul I think we that, that tends to lead you to, to, to miss the mark. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So to minister to somebody without love is is I mean who 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 are you ministering uh for? Right. Because you know, uh it, it just everything stems on that. And I can remember a lot of times it was just because I knew the word and somebody wasn't following it, I just said the word. Come on. But if I would have, if, if love would have been there for that person, I wouldn't have been just preaching to them. I would have been ministering to them. Come on. You know, and there's a right. difference. There's a difference. Exactly. You know, we can, we can try and put constraints on people, you know, to try and live according to the word, but that that's not love. Come on. That's not love at all. Uh to to care about somebody and their relationship with God. Amen. Not not the controls of, of the of, of what they think the word should do. And we were talking about this last week that we tend to do the work of the Holy Spirit rather than allow the Holy Spirit exactly. to change a person. Exactly. Amen. So we got to love God and trust God enough to know that he's the only change agent available. Yeah. Say it again. Say it again. The only exactly. change agent available. <laughs> we, we can't do nothing in and of ourselves if we could. Jesus Christ would never have come. Period. Exactly. Oh, so, 
to understand that and to understand the love that he had. Well, first of all, just to understand the love that God had for us to send his son. Yes, sir. And then to understand the love that his son had to actually die for us and to endure the wrath of his father and the separation of somebody he never understood (laughs) for us in love. Brother Addison, you got you saying something here, brother. Just think about this, man. When we think about it, first of all, it's hard to think about what he is. And I'm going to give you back the platform. But when you say that, you're right, man. You're thinking in all of eternity, that only one time was he separated from the Father. Amen. Am I right? Amen. Amen. And that's when he, Father, why has thou forsaken me? And, and you are right. I mean, the love that Jesus showed for all of mankind and to say that, hey, Brother Addison, he would have done it if it was just you or just me. You're saying something right there, brother. You're saying something. And I'm, I'm giving you back the, the platform, man. Yeah, so so in and of that, you know, you, you can't even love yourself unless you understand that. Exactly. Remember. Exactly. You can't Remember. love yourself. You can't love nobody else. Not the way God des- God desi- desires for us to love. Uh-huh. You know, unconditional you love is is the most powerful thing there is. Amen. You know, and, and like 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 Jesus said, all I can hear is I'm saying, you know, uh, a man laying down his life for somebody. Come out. That, that just that blows me away. <laughs> I can't even fathom. For, you know, the fact that, yeah, for my, my wife, you know, my children, my, my siblings, unequivocally, but a stranger mm. who has ultimately just, uh, uh, just, I have who nothing to enemy? do with. Who was your enemy? Who yes. was your enemy? Right. Someone who despises me. Someone who That's wants right. to kill me. And then I, right. I lay down my life for that person, mm. man, that in guy, love. man it, it, it just blows my mind. It, it truly and to does. do that in love. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. To truly love, love that person. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. so, like the Ooh. word says, you know, without love, you know, it, it, it's... One, two, three. You, you can't do this without that. You can't. That's right. I mean, the Bible says God is love god is love right well here's the other thing is um when you say that we can't do that uh, in and of ourselves and i think we've said it but i just want to you know put, put it out there again in and of ourselves we cannot do it we can only do it with the spirit of god and yes it, it's, it's him and it's our surrender to his nature to the, to the nature of his son and the character of his jesus christ that does that you right. know what i mean yes sir mm-hmm. And that's what people. I think. I think that's why they're saying that the the whole creation is waiting for the the manifestations of the sons of God. Is is the manifestation say the love of His God, love of Christ, the love of God that's in us, and to humble ourselves. You know what I mean? Say, look, it's like I want. So I know sometimes, and I think I, the uh, I think some of the issue sometimes is when you get it. Brother Elder Johns, you know what I mean? When you get it, you get that love of God. Sometimes you want to say, Man, why don't you get it? Can't you get it? Why don't you get it? And 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 we want to push it and you know, you all want to shake it into somebody. So how come you can't get this revelation? Well, I, ha- go ahead. No, I don't want to get you all, but then we don't. I think I think that so so therefore I think sometimes we need to understand <laughs> just like Peter, that's what that came to my mind now. Remember Peter when she said, "You are the Christ, the Son of the Living God," and 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 Jesus said, "Flesh and blood did not reveal that to you, but the Father Amen. from heaven." And I think Amen. I think we need to be patient as far as when people can receive the revelation. And I think that revelation is only coming through the Holy Spirit. Our job is to plant and water. But remember, God is the one that gives the increase. I think it's God is the matter of fact, God is the one that's giving the, the revelation. Even when we fellowship, 
when we sit there and we invite the presence of the Holy Spirit, we if you all notice, there's some things that comes out of your mouth that you know it is not. You didn't plan it. You didn't put it in your notes. You didn't sit there and tell yeah. you was taught by it. It just came. Yes. Yeah. Amen. And that's I think that's why we need to be patient with somebody as we minister the gospel is not to be dis how do you say frustrated when somebody can't get it. Uh and even as a babe in Christ, remember the look, matter of fact, the Bible even distinguished elder between milk and meat. Yes. So some some things somebody can't receive yet. They they can't chew it. They can't process it. So they're looking at yeah. you like I, I I don't understand where you're coming from. Exactly. You gotta well, feed see, you gotta feed me that milk, me, huh? Pastor, to me, I don't think they'll get the revelation, but they'll Correct. get the love. Th that's what we, whether you're a yeah. where you're a babe in Christ or a mature person in Christ. Right. The love that is shown Woo. in spreading the, the gospel. You you just grasp it, yeah. You know, and you just know, yeah, that it is of God. Uh huh. Um, and and as you were saying, there's times when 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 I'm I'm speaking to somebody, yes, sir. And and in the back of my mind, I'm listening to what's coming out of my mouth. It messes me up because I'm like, wow, where did that come from? Sometimes it 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 interrupts the flow because. I'm so amazed, <laughs> yeah. and I know it's not in and of. I mean, I know it's not me, Myron. Right. I know it's the Holy Spirit that's saying. Come on. And uh, <laughs> and and, I, and I'm just like in awe. Woo. And it's happened for even you have said that, Pastor. Come on. You know, you did look. Only God revealed that. To Come you. on. I know. Right. Right. And then you you'll say, well, what did you say? <laughs> And then I'll have to really reach into my mind to actually remember what I had just said, even though I just said it. Just said it. Ain't that something? So, just amazing how the Holy Spirit just, you know, moves to the forefront of, of our being. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, 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 and how there is no, there's no switch. Come on. You know, there's no invoking. You know, but there is a, an acknowledgement yes. because that that spirit that dwells within you moves to the front. You have no control over that. Come on, brother. <laughs> you know, and and the thing is, it's when we truly act in love, then we decrease. Yes. And the Holy Spirit just rises up in that in that moment. Yes, sir. And the, the the passion that we have for that soul, I think that it just it's, it just happens. Right. And I think and so that that is 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 what I search for. Um and uh but it is it, it comes with a price, and that price is the renewing of the mind. Yes, sir. Because unless you renew your mind, mm. And the Holy Spirit has little to work with. Now, I'm not saying that the Holy Spirit can't work. Yes. But the resources. Yes. That is is available unto that person. Come on. Greater and more effective if that individual's mind is renewed. Yes, sir. And then it all stems right back to love. Come on. Because you got to love the Lord your God. Come on. Well, what? All you that want to know him. <laughs> you want to know him if you want to cultivate that relationship, if you want to grow. It's all built on love and that desire to know who he is. Yes, and sir. Who he says you are. Yes, sir. So that renewing of the mind is another form of love. Hmm. And in and, and, and all that loving. There is this 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 movement of faith to faith. Come on. Of glory to glory. <laughs> and and it just you, you just move in that. Yes, sir. And you act on that. And and, and I think it's just a e it becomes more easier for the Holy Spirit to, to, to move to the forefront. Exactly. Exactly. You know so, 
Hey, cut your light on. Cut your light on so we can see you better. We can't see you in the dark. You in the shadow there. Let you know that. That's your one. I like it. Oh, okay. As long as you want to be that way, that's fine. No, I'm just kidding. Because <laughs> I can't see you. <laughs> I don't like being on these cameras. <laughs> <laughs> but, Brother Jackson, I think that's what that's the whole point of it is that we don't get disappointed because of how somebody else is, re, is not getting it yet. But it's like you said, just show that love. Because I think that's why, you know, when we had that scripture last week, we was talking about Jesus visiting Levi's house and the publicans and the sinners were there. It was the love of Christ that allowed those people to 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 uh, that allow Jesus to be in their presence. You know what I mean? Amen. It was the it was the Pharisees and the Sadducees who both have been the religious leaders was focusing more on who he was hanging out with than than what who he was, right? Could they ask the question? Why why are you why are you why are you with those uh, publicans? and sinners and i'm saying is that's how the institution has sometimes gravitated toward when they're talking about dealing with individuals you know you know brother jackson is like where you went to if god led you to the club if god led you to a a, a place where some people are called questionable another saint should should not even be concerned about why you're there Amen. They should be. They just should be just saying, "I'm praying that Brother Jackson is 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 representing Christ." Amen. Be that light in the midst of that darkness to allow those people to get the word of God. That's right. And that's what that's people like to say. Right. That's what they look for. They love. And we just need to understand the patience. Go ahead. That's right. You know, and um, we find ourselves in in those situations, whether it be at the job, whether it be in the street, you know, wherever we are. Um, uh, oftentimes, it, it is that uh, spirit within us that um, provokes actually others who are not in the spirit to you know to go against. When I say us, really, they're going against the spirit of God, right? Because if we're trying to do right according to the will of God. Uh, those that are not in the right nature, the spiritual nature, are going to recognize that, and they don't like that. <laughs> um, that's why when we are trying to promote goodness and love, right. as, as brothers Addison, and you know, talking about love, how somebody can come back at you as if you know you're the enemy. You like, enemy. I'm, I'm yeah. it. You know, so you're you're so right about that. Right. Amen. Right. So, I think we, Go when ahead. You're in, in the flesh. Yeah, and, and I think we at when we get to like the intellectual levels and the spiritual level, it right. really is two different levels of communication and manifestation, you know. Yeah, and I think what we've done is we focus more so on the intellectual and the and the physical behavior than we have on the spiritual behavior. Right. At the spiritual level, we're motivated to be godly. Yeah. At the intellectual level, we try to be godly. Right. You understand? Know right. We got certain standards and rules that we, we follow them. We think that this is going to manifest Christ. But when it's at a spiritual level, it inherently manifests Christ. Yes, sir. When you're being changed, when we're being conformed to that level. Right. We think in terms of a, of, of a relationship, we're talking about a love relationship. It almost it's a dance. It's like when the top partner knows how to yield to the leading of the of the of the uh the one the, the, the leader of that dance. Yes, like, sir. You know, like a male female relationship. Right. The man takes the lead and kind of moves the woman around. And when you see that thing happening, it, they move in constant one with another. <laughs> and one knows how to lead, and the other knows how to follow. Yes, sir. And when we know God, we interact with His Spirit to the point when He's moving, we move with Him. We move with Him. Amen. <laughs> That's developmental. What I saw, and I think where what's the issue sometimes is that when it says line upon line, precept upon precept. Here a little, there a little. He talks about where we learn how the learning process takes place. We literally start out cardinal. Yes, That's sir. I tried to tell the whole world about Jesus. You need to get saved. <laughs> <laughs> That's the point. At the beginning, we're yelling out of our brain, brains, our minds are like twi flying. And now we're going to go get somebody saved because we don't realize that if they say, they, uh, if they say, repeat this after me. <laughs> uh, he died for my sins and he was resurrected and so forth and so on. We got. Romans 10 and 9, we got down to the art, right? Uh huh. When they say that, we are satisfied carnally. I might say, well, you said it, so you say it now. I know, because I lived that. You know, I've been through that. Not realizing that the person is not the spirit, they changed. 
ain't nothing happened, but he just said a few words. Yeah. And that's what we focus at. We focus on the behavior, the, 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 uh, changing the behavior. That's again an external uh, 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 observations or uh, 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 works, external works, more so than the spiritual work that was really should be taking place. In, in which, say yeah. something we talk about day long, yeah. and the spirit not ever, ever be transformed. Right. And what we, <laughs> we fail to realize initially, but I think we're coming to a better understanding of, Jesus Christ was the last Adam was made a quickening spirit. Woo. The first Adam, a living soul, but the last Adam, a quickening spirit. Right. He deals with it on a spiritual level. Yes, sir. He changes who we are literally. Yes, sir. He changes us at the innermost core of who we are. Woo. He connects us with the Father, and then he begins to transform our spirit. Yes, sir. And what the spirit is brought into conformity with the spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now we can manifest cardinally. Come on. What we try to do initially through the flesh. <laughs> flesh will never live at that level. <laughs> it doesn't have that kind of power. Woo. Because it's not what you're doing to change a person's behavior. Uh -huh. It's what he is doing to literally change the configuration of their spirit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's, it's kind of hard. This is why I say line upon line, precept upon precept. We're moving from cardinal to spiritual because it takes a minute to even capture the concept that there is a portion of you that God is working on. Yes, sir. That your mind has nothing to do with uh -huh. except it comes to this once you can reach it at that level. <laughs> Intellectually, I can be a Christian, but not be transformed, not born again. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I say that because you go through all. The, the everything that the law says in the book, everything that we think is Christianity, we can hit all the religious dots because intellectually we know them. Uh -huh. We even embrace them. Right. And still our heart not be changed. Yes, sir. Your spirit does not necessarily have to be changed because of your awareness of what religion is or the scriptures. It's when God changes who you are to align with what your mind already knows, what your mind knows is when you get that unity of the two. Yes, sir. <laughs> it becomes easier to perform spiritually once your mind has embraced what are you made aware of what spiritual is. But initially, it's not a spiritual. It's not a spiritual act. I was not led by the spirit of God when I first got saved. And you know, you know what, Elder, I, I was thinking is that in in uh, brother, I think uh, brother Allison, can he, he got that 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 scientific background a little bit, a little bit. Is 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 that. When you get born again, let's say you made the confession uh, of, of in Romans ten out of ten, Elder, I think it's maybe. Let's, I'm just back a little bit. I think it's is that's the beginning of conception. Where where where? Because you say you come in as a babe, right? In other words, they come in spiritually immature, spiritually not enlightened, but connected. Yes. And and I and Word. I and Word. I and I consider I consider that renewing of the mind, El, uh, Brother Jackson, is where that firmware and that software is is being introduced into a believer's life. Hey, Amen. You know what I mean? This world be transformed by the renewing of your mind. You see, what I'm it's saying that. Exactly. In other words, come on, bro. As you, you see, they're getting yeah. updates. They, yeah. <laughs> they all. For, but first, they got to do is get the connection. We got to get them connected yeah. just to the to what you call it to to the uh, internet. You you said we got to connect it, <laughs> and then it's then it's constant firmware updates going yeah. on in a believer's life. And you know, hey, hey, here's a good thing, brother Asin, because you can relate to computers a little bit. Is 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 when you cut the computer off, you can't get the updates until you connect it back on or turn it back on, huh? So so sometimes people who who are been connected, but they cut the computer off, therefore they're not receiving what the Holy Spirit is trying to indwell in them. And that to me is serious. And that and is that, serious. That is serious. You, score, you can't get an update. <laughs> you can't get an information flow. You can't get it. You all <laughs> and, and nothing to have to do. That's the <laughs> <thing. laughs> when, when we think about abiding in sin, we're sinning. Woo. Now we sin. We, we, God can be going in one direction, we're going in another. Woo. We break fellowship. 
<laughs> we literally break fellowship with the spirit of God. Down low from this one for <laughs> we just out there. But we have to repent, come back into fellowship with God, and get that and get the updates. Get the update. Hey, 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 look, look, and, and Brian said this again. That's why the computer ain't running so fast. The computer ain't operating as well as it should. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. it's, it's not getting this update. <laughs> you missed a few downloads. Woo! What is why God gave that to us? <laughs> she gave us the internet so we could understand how we're going to get. And you got to have a modem to get online, right? The modem is Jesus. That, that, that. I mean, you can say it to a lot of different type of levels. Come on. You know, I mean, when 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 I've got so much religion that I needed a defrag. Woo, woo. <laughs> I, need to be I needed all my files put in the correct order. I needed to minimize that lost space and everything. Woo. Right up, and and, and then we... I needed the, the software update, and that was Jesus Christ, the <laughs> cornerstone. Come on! And once that that once that patch was put in there, woo. everything kind of fell into place, and then yeah. I was woo. able to add more software come on. you know i was able to add the uh, uh word professional come on brother come on <laughs> all the necessary acts so amen that's a that's a that's a heavenly principle we're talking about <laughs> but when you were saying people turning off they their, their computer i don't never turn off my computer <laughs> my computer stays on right so, what is it? You know, the, the, the connection is always there. The updates are done even when I'm sleeping. Woo, woo. So your says pray without ceasing. Come on. Yes. That's it. Pray without ceasing. Stay online. Woo. Keep, keep the connection so you can receive the updates. I mean, man, is that's now we can preach to millennials. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that, Roger that. That's the language they come in. <laughs> exactly. There's a parable. Come on, Roger. that's a serious one, and that and that's that's part we need to understand. So we don't get frustrated because see, if your computer's not operating properly, that's that's because it needs some updates. And, and don't forget another thing: there's some malware out there. <laughs> no, yeah. no, that's that's information. <laughs> <laughs> that malware is intentionally trying to come in, get a net bot in there. <laughs> you got all kinds of malware that's impacting and trying to mess up a Christian. If you think about it, in the Garden of Eden, there was an insertion of a malware into those believers yeah. called Adam and Eve. That malware was so disruptive, so corruptive, he said, if you eat this, if you let this software get in you, it's going to crash your computer. 